Hey traders, welcome back to Brock Algo. Today we're diving again into the world of technical analysis, but this time with a focus on a powerful momentum-based indicator, on balance volume, or OBV. Watch till the end, because after I've explained how it works, I'm going to give you a practical way that you can use it to boost your strategies and get better results. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. I trade algos and cryptos, which is a high risk way to invest. You must do your own research as you could lose all your money. Make sure you thoroughly backtest any strategy before running live. Let's dive in. So what is OBV? OBV is a momentum-based indicator that measures the flow of volume in and out of an asset. It's a unique tool that combines the price and the trading volume to provide a holistic view of the market strength and shows potential opportunities for trend reversals. Unlike other indicators, OBV doesn't focus solely on price movements. Instead, it adds up the volume on the up periods and subtracts the volume on the down periods. So if today's closing price is higher than yesterday's closing price, then today's OBV will be yesterday's OBV plus today's volume. If today's closing price was lower than yesterday's closing price, then today's OBV will be yesterday's OBV minus today's volume. And if the price remains equal, then the OBV will stay the same. The theory is that volume precedes price movements, making OBV a leading indicator. When the big dogs like the whales, the institutional and professional investors start buying positions, one of their goals is usually to avoid pushing the price higher so they can keep their average entry price as low as possible. On the flip side, if they want to exit a position, then they're going to do this gradually so that they can maximize the amount they receive for each sale. There are a number of techniques which they use for this, which I can talk about in another video. If you're interested, leave a comment and let me me know, but their end goal is to maximize their returns. So we wouldn't see a significant price movement, but we would see an increase in trading volume. The idea behind OBV, therefore, is to gauge whether smart money is being traded. How can we use this knowledge to our advantage then? Well, we know if there's an increase in trading volume without a significant price movement, then this is a likely sign that the big players are working away. A steep OBV line generally suggests strong momentum because it indicates that not only is the price moving, it's moving at pace because there's large volume flowing into or out of the asset. Conversely, a flat OBV line suggests an even fight between buyers and sellers. Now on its own, this can be useful information, but where it gets interesting is when we compare this to the relative price action. When the OBV line converges or diverges from the price trend, it can be a powerful indicator of potential trend reversals. For example, if a price is moving upwards and still making new highs, but the OBV isn't, it's starting to flatten out or maybe moving sideways, then this could signal weakening buying interest. Here you can see in this example, the price here is generally increasing and making higher highs on this hourly chart. However, you can see the OBV is flowing relatively sideways and not increasing the same rate as the price. It stays within this channel, so this would have been an indicator that momentum isn't quite matching up with the price action, and we could have taken this as a signal for a potential reversal and think about selling. On the flip side, you can see here in this example that the price is making new lows, but the OBV isn't exactly following suit, and again, we see this generally flat or sideways movement. Therefore, this could have been a signal that selling pressure is waning, hinting at a potential bullish reversal, which in this case it was. So the moment you've been waiting for, how do I practically apply OBV in my own strategies? I personally use it for trend confirmation. By tracking OBV trends, I can use this to validate and confirm the prevailing trend of a market. You can see this example here. This is my Bollinger Band strategy. If you haven't seen that video, go and check it out because I explain exactly how it works and how it achieves a 77% win rate. So I've included a simple rule in this strategy here that checks whether the OBV is trading higher than its moving average or not. Why do I do that? This strategy is designed to operate in bull market conditions, so I need to validate that in fact the prevailing market trend is bullish, i.e. that we're in a rising market. By checking the OBV is on the rise, I'm making sure that there's momentum and I'm confirming the trend. As an example here, I'm going to remove the OBV rule and rerun the backtest so you can see the difference. For those interested in the software, it's really simple to use. You don't need to know how to write code. You can hook it up to any exchange with an API. I'll leave a link in the description below. New users can get a free trial period right now on their premium services. Looking at the results of this backtest, you can see it's given us 103 trades in a three-month period at a winning ratio of 73%. How does this compare to the original? Well, with the OBV rule, we had 85 trades with a winning percentage of 77%. So with the OBV rule, we had less trades that were more profitable. OBVs acted like a filter to reduce some of the noise and make sure that we're only trading in favorable conditions. We've essentially ruled out some of the false signals that weren't making us profits. And to remind you, all I did was include this rule that in order to generate a buy signal, OBV had to be higher than its 14 part moving average. I could have changed the number of periods in this average, like five or nine. I also could have checked whether the short term moving average of OBV was higher than the long term moving average. There there are lots of different ways to do this, so have a play around and see which one gives your strategy the best results. Remember that OBV is a useful momentum indicator because it's leading in its nature. If you use it on its own, it can generate some false signals, so it's best to use it as one factor of a holistic strategy. Combine it with some lagging indicators like moving averages or RSI for the best results. So that's OBV. Hopefully you found this helpful. Check out some of my other videos for more insights. Until then, happy trading and see you next time.